Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. Now this is a re product review of the Toolkit RC M4 pocket charger and the SC100 protocol cable. The Torquit RC M4 pocket charger and the SC100 protocol cable were kindly supplied for review by Torquit RC. And here is the M4, let me show you. That focuses there. Okay, there's not much to it, there's one button on there. We've got the input, we can input from a USB and from an XT60. Now let me just see if I can get that to focus can see them there and you've got a little slider and put the slider down and you can go to the USB-C port okay now we have a look at the other end so this is the output which is very neat about this little charger is that you don't have to have adapters if you're at the field and you wanted to charge and um, you have if it's just an XC60 you then need to have an adapter with this you don't let me show you so there's the output for the XT60 and then we just slide the little slider across and you can now see the XT30. With the M4 charger, we can charge up to four cell batteries. Now we can charge LiPos, high voltage LiPos. We can bring our LiPo batteries into storage and we can also charge life batteries. Now we can do this from one to five amps up to 80 watts. Now this charger is also capable of doing high capacity charging for the USB-C. Now this would be at one amp and that is at five volts. In the next part of the video, I powered up the M4 with the SC100 cable. Now you can see I've got the XT60 plugged into the M4 and then you've got a USB-C at the other end. So I just plugged it into the P200 and off it went. Now you can use, obviously use this cable, not just for this uh, Toolkit RC charger, but for any charger that has um, an XT60 input. So you could use it with your M8S or whichever charger you wanted to do. But I just wanted to go through the cable quickly before we carry on with the M4. You can, obviously, I haven't got one in the workshop here. I haven't got a, a, a USB-C charger, wall charger. But you can use this to plug into one of those and then use it to uh, power the charger when you're out in the field. Right, let's have a look at the... Uh, footage and the closer look at the M4. I've got the M4 plugged into my P200 power supply using the SC100 cable. And here we go. So this is very simple to use, uh, but let's plug the battery in. We can change this from XT30 to XT60. And plug this in. It's a four, up to a four cell battery, as I've already mentioned to you. Okay, let's hope this doesn't. I'm going to have to hold this down. There we go. Now, there's just one button on here, and all we need to do is you see it's locked. We've turned it on, it's now locked. Until we touch it, the button, it won't do anything. But as soon as we touch the button, you can see that we can uh, charge a standard LiPo at 4.2 volts. We can do a high volt LiPo at 4.35. We can put our LiPos into storage at 3.85. And we've got uh, 3.6 volts for the LiFe batteries. Now, if we wanted to change any of those parameters, we do a short press, it will, it will change the amps that it's charging. Now this is, you could get away with two amps for this battery because it is a 1,500 milliamp hour battery. Um, so we're going to leave it as that. But if you wanted to change the voltage or change to the LIFE battery, you have to do a long press and then you long press. And that is simply it. That's all you need to do. And now you can see the fans come on quite quickly because we are charging a big battery there. So that's all the controls. Uh, the screen is, is nice and bright. Uh, but really there isn't much to it. I'd now like to show you how to calibrate the M4. You need to hold the volume and current button down and then apply power. Now it's a bit tricky to do this adjustment but let me show you. I'm just going to plug battery in. There we go. 
Now, if you need to change cell one, you go around until you get to that cell and then hold the button down. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it back to 3.89 because I know it's correct, but all you do is, you see it's gonna go minus to 30, and then it will be plus 30, but we can go back to zero. And then once you've got the corrected figure, so we're gonna go back to zero, 3.89, you long press and then you should be good to go. In this picture I show you the variances in the voltage readings where I took the voltage readings from the M4 and then I used a multimeter on the battery to check the cell voltages. Now in conclusion for the Toolkit RC M4 charger, I like this the size, it's very neat, very small. Love the bit where you've got two outputs on it. I mean that can be so annoying when you're at the field and you want to charge and you've left your um, yeah, XT60 to XT30 adapter at home. So that's neat. You can plug it, you can power it by, by using that SC100 cable. You could you obviously make up an XT60 cable yourself, um, which you could plug into a power supply like the P200. And you could also get a USB-C to USB-C cable, which then you would be able to plug it into a wall socket. I didn't have one of those, as I said earlier, so I couldn't test that part of it. Um, now to the bit that I always say in my videos, would I buy it? Well, there was only the, it was a slightly noisy, the fan, but not too bad. I mean, it's got to cool itself and it did get quite to a higher temperature, about, I think about 64 degrees when it was um, bringing down the uh, uh, four cell battery down to uh, storage and it took about two hours. So this charger is not it's not designed to, to put your batteries into storage. I, I, I don't think so, it just took too long. Um, but would I buy one? Yes, I would to have in my uh, uh, toolkit when I go to the, the field and I want to charge up batteries. And also the fact that it can fast charge your phones is quite, is quite a good idea. So yes, I would um, contemplate buying one of these myself. Thanks for watching this video and if you found it useful please give it a thumbs up and if you didn't give it a thumbs down and if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comments section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, happy flying, bye for now.